Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back for our 16th episode. I hope you're all safe, happy, and healthy. Today we're gonna to be trying a new format of a semi-real-time video. My wife's gonna be recording the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and we're gonna work with some stuff I've been experimenting on during quarantine. There's some great vegetarian adaptations to these recipes, um, and I'm really excited to show you. So let's get started. So what we're gonna be making today is a very herbal risotto stuffed eggplant with a Parmesan panko crust, and it's gonna be in a bright orange sweet pepper coulis. As I said, this recipe is so simple and easy to do at home. It's really delicious and really filling. So let's begin. All right, so we're gonna begin by preheating our oven to 300. So all you have to do is cut right off that top. Then um, we're just gonna take a little bit of a split off the bottom part just so that we have a flat area to hold it down on. And then we can cut right down the middle. And we have our two halves. And we're just gonna try to get this heated to a point where it can be scooped out, kind of like ice cream. And now we're gonna do what's really common in the industry, which most people do with meats, but you can do them with vegetables too. We're gonna do something called scoring, which is just slicing, crisscross to make sure that that heat can go all the way in the center of it. Now we're just gonna get in a hot skillet some oil, make sure that it's spread around evenly. Then now that our pan and oil are very hot, we're gonna take our scored eggplant and lay it face down to start sizzling off. Okay, so now while this is cooking off, you should hear a nice bright sizzle. We're gonna start our risotto. Just a little bit of oil in the pan. And it's of course necessary as always to begin toasting off the risotto rice before you put it in with some stock that we have. So once our oil is nice and hot, we're just gonna throw our rice in there. You can give it a little toss, just get it nice and coated so it can toast evenly. Now this particular stock we're using already has a lot of sodium and it was made with garlic and onions, but if you want yours to be like organically made at home, start toasting the rice with some garlic in the beginning. It'll be delicious. Now with this eggplant, we're just trying to get the inside soft. We're keeping that outer layer nice and hard so it can be stuffed and bake off in the oven. So we're ready to go with this. So we are repurposing the meat of this eggplant to kind of give our risotto that buttery, cheesy texture without having to use too much dairy product. So we're just gonna take it out, scoop it while it's still nice and hot. Once your eggplant is basically hollowed out, you can throw it right into a dish and set it to the side. Definitely make sure to keep stirring this. Rice burns so quickly and easily. Where did the chives go? Wait on your hand. Oh my <laughs> So now we're gonna take these innards and blend them into a really delicious herbal puree for our risotto. All you need is about one clove of garlic. It's getting blended up, so no need to prep it. About a half handful of really nice bright green chives. So now to make a little more room, we're gonna start blending it off. I'm always cooking Italian food so often with so much oil, I'm trying to cut back on it. So a little salted water and this should blend evenly. Once I had a little more space, I just added a half handful of Italian curly parsley, some chili flakes. <laughs> chili flakes. Once I had a little more space, I added in some curly parsley, some chili flakes, and my secret ingredient, which is sunflower seeds. It adds a lot of nuttiness and creamy texture to pestos, sauces, purees, everything. It's awesome. Now, once we have it all blended up, we can add it on in to our risotto. I should have added salt to the puree, but I told you you're gonna see mistakes and all. So season that right on up. Now we've just mixed it in nice and evenly. It's gonna look a little like guacamole. Now even though the puree already made this pretty creamy, we're just gonna add a little bit of butter and parm for our traditional risotto lovers. As you can see, I only put in about a handful, not, not a big one. Ah, stupid hot. That's really, really good. <laughs> so now we are obviously just taking our risotto and stuffing our little eggplant boat. This is gonna serve a solid like two people, it's huge. So now what I have here is just a simple mix of panko breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, paprika, and some parsley just for the top crust. And you can be pretty generous with this. It's gonna crisp up really well in the oven. Now to finish it off, I'm just adding a light drizzle of this beautiful garlic oil we have, and it can go on in the oven. And we have, oh, <laughs> don't let it slide around. And it can go right in. So now that our eggplant's in the oven baking off, we're just gonna make our simple coulis sauce, which is usually literally just a fruit or vegetable with water instead of oil. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna add a little white wine vinegar to it, just for that extra acidity. We have some small sweet orange peppers here. I'm gonna bring a lot of color to the plate. Just cutting the little seeds out, of course. So now here we have our measurements of peppers, water, vinegar, and salt. We're ready to blend. 
Now our eggplant has been in there for about 13 minutes. I'm just gonna take it out. It's got that beautiful crust. The skin's cooked well, not too much, not too little. Now we have it all set for our plating, right in the center. And we can put a little of our coolie sauce just around the plate. We can see the layering between that crispy top, our risotto inside, and our eggplant bottom is cooked just right. I know the coolie sauce looks like it's not gonna add too much, but it does give a nice acidic blast and some color to the plate. And we are all set to enjoy. Okay guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. My social media info is to my left and down below in the description is our recipe. Can't wait to see you guys next time. Stay safe, happy, and healthy.